I hope that you are doing extremely good. So yes, today I'm going to fulfill the wish of Shadow Gaming 5844. Uh, whoever you are, you have requested a video on DSATM and uh, we have heard your request. We are going to fulfill your request right now. So let's talk about DSATM which is right here in Bangalore itself. If you talk about the highest package, it came out to be 23 LPA which is pretty good. Average package 6 LPA, number of companies visited 180 plus. That is more than 180 plus. Recruiters have come in this company, uh, this college to make the recruitments. Now, if you have noticed, this is for the year 2023. Now, you might be thinking, where is 2024 data? It was not there in their official website, but I got something really official which I'll be posting really soon. Okay, over here you will be able to see that. So let's go ahead, let's talk about the overview of the college. What is the name of the college? Dayananda Sagar Academy of Technology and Management. And if you are asking or thinking that why is it important? Children, there are so many colleges with similar names, you might get confused. So please take a note of it. It is Dayananda Sagar Academy of Technology and Management. Okay, now where is it located? Kanakpura Main Road, Bangalore itself. So that variance we have here. Affiliation, it is affiliated to Vishweshwaraya Technological University. Children who are worried about it being autonomous or not, uh, well, it is not mentioned in their official website, but they have provided a little letter for approval for autonomousity. And also in some other pages, they have mentioned that they are autonomous. But again, since I didn't see in the front page, I not, have not written it over here. Okay, now we go ahead. The placement record, which is of the most importance, right? If for the year 2023, I have taken a snip from their official website. As I said, the average package is 6. The highest package is 23 LPA. And uh, the number of recruiters who have visited is 180 plus, which is good. Now, if you talk about the details of the students who backed this highest package that I was talking about, that is 23 LPA. So it was backed by a child who was from CSE background, that is computer science and engineering background. And the company was Rapido. Okay, if you see again, there are children from ISC, that is Information Science and Engineering background as well. Uh, they have uh, they have bagged 21.65 LPA. The company's name is Systems is in Japan. So I think they also promote international recruitment or at least they promoted international recruitment back, year, back in the year 2023, that is the previous year. So this is the data if you want to take a snip of it you can definitely take but the courses that i am seeing here is just cse and isc okay the highest they have just mentioned the highest package which is why i just see these two courses over here okay now we go ahead the number of offers which were made in the year 2024 this, this is the official letter that i was talking about it came out to be 370 which is pretty less if we compare the data i'll show you the comparison as well so in their official website it was written that the recruitment process is ongoing which is why this is the data now i think it's august so that's time to update it might be because they have not updated or it might be because there are no recruitments so there are two possibilities how can we counter check this okay we can call the placement cell and ask that is fine but they are from the college what is the most appropriate way you can talk to children who are studying in the college they can give you a better idea of things that is what is the placement rate what is the percentage of things so things that are in our control definitely i'll be putting it over here but some things which we also cannot do you can possibly do it you can have a call with them and ask that this is the case can you tell me how is the placement rate or for the course that you're looking for what is the placement rate okay so all this data is there now if you talk about 2021 and 22 let's see that as well so for the year 2022 for the children who passed out in the year 2022 uh, basically the highest package was 35 lpa it was backed by a student from cse background that is computer science and engineering if you go ahead you might see another student from cse background itself who have backed a uh, lpa of 27 lpa package of 27 LPA and the companies that all of them are placed in is in Japan and the companies are different okay so again as I as I was saying they might be promoting international recruitment which is a good thing okay so this is the thing but uh, one more thing that you have to note is 27 LPA in Japan is different from what you are getting in India so that is also a criteria but again a uh, exposure to international recruitment is really good okay so this is the data for 2022. Now if you see for 21, children who passed out in the year 2021, 
the highest package was 26.42 LPA. Again, CAC background and uh, the company was phone pay. You have other data as well. With these set of data that is presented over here, I found that in the year 2021, it was okay, 26. And then the highest package came to 35. And then now it is coming to 23. So it is a graph, deteriorating graph, but we can never say probably they have not put down their placement data. So which is why there's a confusion and which is why I'm telling you to talk to your friends as well. So this is the graph that is mentioned in their official website. So here they have mentioned the year. Here they have uh, mentioned the number of offers being made or the number of children who are being placed already. So as you can see, I'll start from 2022. That's better. So number of offers is almost 620, okay, or 610. Now over here, if you see, it's 600. Now here, if you see, it's 370, which is a drastic jump towards down. It's a drastic downfall, I might say. Okay, so now the question is how this is possible is are they not promoting recruitments now or what is the status of, of the college as of now? So for that, what do you need to do? As I said, go talk. Okay, that is the only thing that we can do. We have also tried to talk to the placement cell. You can also try your luck over here. I'll be giving you the number as well so that you also have an idea. So children, why have I said all this thing? I can just say good things about the college. It is because this is from their official website and there might be some reason to it. So you are the person who are going to get admission to that college. So you also need to do a bit of research. Obviously, we will be doing it from your end, but you also need to try a bit. Okay, a bit. This thing you can do, I think. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead. So this is the number for the placement cell. If you have any doubt regarding this, please give a call to them. Okay, you can take a snip of the same for giving them a call and asking that what is the status. But again, as I said, they are a representative. They are the representative of the college. So better talk to someone who's studying in the college. Now, if you talk about the national assessment and accreditation ranking over here, they have the grading system A plus, which is pretty good. Okay, it's not bad. The highest is A plus plus. They have got A plus. It's not bad. Mode of admission. How can you get admission into this particular college? Children, you can give either K sit or you can give Comet K. Okay, there are two options. Now we go ahead with the fees, which is obviously very, very, very important, right? So for case 2024-2025, they have given a tentative fee structure, right? So according to it, it is rupees 1 lakh 7,495. And if you need to have more details regarding it, you can please watch this particular video by Ashere Ma'am. She has given the uh, entire detail about the case provisional fee structure as well. Okay. Okay. Going ahead with Comet K fee. This is the Comet K fee. Over here, you can see this is the fees that you have already paid during Comet K. That is 2,81,477. Fine. Now, children who are studying in Karnataka, who have studied in Karnataka, they have to pay an extra fee of 25,610. Okay. Now, children who are studied outside Karnataka, they have to pay an extra fee of 27,110. And children who are not here in India, they are NRI students. Basically, you need to pay 37,110 rupees as an extra amount apart from this thing when you are get, going to the college to get admission. Okay. So again, if you want to take a snip, please take a snip. Now we go ahead. We'll talk about management quota seats as well. So until now, I have never included management quota seats. But still, if you're struggling with finding a college, you are not getting into KSET as well as Comet K, please be assured that this is the fees that you need to pay. Okay. Depending on the courses that you have, I can zoom it in a bit, I think. If it's possible. Okay. It's not possible. You should. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> Let's make the impossible possible. So for computer science and engineering, as you can see, it's 3.5. It goes up to information science and engineering. All of them has a um, average fees of 3.5 lakhs. Okay. Now, if you go ahead, the fees becomes a bit less in electronics and communication engineering. It is 2.75. If you talk about uh, electrical and electronics engineering it is 1.7 as well as civil and mechanical all of them has 1.7 lakhs and then if you talk about architecture which is not obviously mentioned in engineering it's too lakh. but yeah general information 
Now, there is one very important note that is given over here. Apart from the above fees, student have to pay other fees every year, which will be informed to the student. So, please do not be, do not be thinking that this is the only fee that you need to pay. There might be a lot of other things as well. So, again, what you can do is talk to them regarding this initially okay you can go to the official website check off the number and just call them and ask what could be the tentative fees for the overall years okay now we go ahead we see the courses which are being offered by this particular college children the college code is very much important. As I said, there are so many colleges with the similar names. When I went and browsed about Dayananda, Dayananda Sagar, I got so many colleges. Even I got confused. So, it's for you to not get confused. You have the case hit code as E212. Okay. And common K code as E039. If you enter this code, you will get all the data. Okay. Now, if you see the courses that are being offered, it starts from artificial intelligence and machine learning. And it will be going up to mechanical engineering okay now if you see the number of seats these are the number of seats as in how many students can get enrolled for this particular course so for example i take civil engineering only 30 seats are there that means only 30 children can enroll for this particular course okay or can get admission into this particular courses now what is this thing this is the cutoff so the previous year that is 2023 extend round to extended cutoff for computer science and engineering, it has the highest cutoff that is 15,168. Why do I say it's the highest cutoff? That means your rank should be below this particular number. So among this, all the numbers are higher. Okay, this is the lowest number that is 15,168. If your rank is below this, then probably you can get admission to computer science and engineering. But again, this is 2023 data. This time it might shift a bit. Yeah. Now, for Comet Q also, the highest cutoff has went for computer science and engineering. It is 19,056. Fine. I hope that is also clear. If we talk about the lowest cutoff, okay, lowest cutoff, it has went to this thing. That is for mechanical engineering, it was 2 lakh 21,000 or 2 lakh uh, 2,127. Okay, 2 lakh 2,000. 2,2127 exactly so basically this is the lowest cutoff so if your rank is below this probably you can get admission to mechanical engineering okay now if you talk about comet k for the comet k the lowest rank has been 36,761 which is for electronics and communication engineering now children suppose you just want to get admission to this college you're not worried about the course that you want to get admitted into then you should be checking this particular data that i am mentioning over here for case it your rank should be in between 15168 to 2 lakh 2127 if your rank is in between this probably you can get admission to the course that you're looking for okay depending upon the rank that you have already okay now for comet k it is 19056 and it goes up to 36761 Okay, so your rank should be in between that. Now, is this the correct way? I always say it is not the correct way. You should have a proper idea about the course and the college that you're looking forward to. It's not like any random course you will be joining. No, children, please don't do that because not all the courses have great amount of recruitments. So, you have to be very careful with that as well. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now, we go ahead with facilities. Hostels facilities there for both boys and girls and transport facilities also there okay now if you want to know about the hostel fee details this is the number that you can contact to so as i said i'll make your life as much easy as possible by providing you all the information but still there might be some things that even we cannot do that is one thing that you can probably do for yourself yeah so that's all are we helping you enough if we are helping you enough please do not forget to comment it down Okay, and if you need any more help, please put that as well. We'll definitely try to figure out things with you. Okay, because you mean the world to us. So, yes. Now, if you have uh, not seen this video, if you think that these videos are important for you as of now and that, that this particular point of time, then definitely go give a watch to all these videos. You will get a clear cut idea about a lot of things, the cutoffs, the best college, the best branch and everything. Okay, you still have time. Now, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you think that this particular piece of information was useful to you. And also, Shadow Gaming, I hope you're literally happy. Also, 
I hope that everyone is happy and you are all smiling. You are having a big, big, great smile on your face. So take care. Please not panic and have a really good day. Bye bye.